Hey guys, this is Dr. Hub. In case you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe for updates. Pathological basal ganglia calcification and we're looking at its causes. So the first cause will be the endocrinopathies. So due to the endocrine. Endocrinopathies. So this includes the hypoparathyroidism. So there is hypo, hypo, parathyroid, parathyroidism and this can be due to the primary as well as the secondary then comes the pseudo hypo parathyroidism so the pseudo hypo parathyroid para thyroidism next is the hypo parathyroidism as well as a hypo hyper parathyroid parathyroidism next is the hypothyroidism next is a hypo hypothyroidism next we look at the vasculitis so under the vasculitis so under vasculitis it involves the SLE so it can be involving the SLE then is the mitochondrial disorders so in terms of the mitochondrial disorders there is involvement of the mitochondrial myopathy so mitochondrial myopathy is present then comes the infections infections what and all is present in the infections so under infections there is presence of the brucellosis so infections it can include the brucellosis there can be presence of the torch there can be presence of the ebb epstein barr virus as well as the presence of the hiv then what are the other inherited disorders so inherited disorders it includes a neuroferritinopathy so there is a neurofibrinopathy so there is a neurofibrinopathy as well as there is a cocaine syndrome cocaine syndrome next is what are the other causes of the pathological basal ganglion calcification so other things it involves a radiation so there is involvement of radiation then there can also be ct there is a chemotherapy c therapy and the carbon monoxide poisoning that is co poisoning and also the lead poisoning lead poisoning to learn and grow daily like this please do subscribe